It's 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 like a rake. Um, just kind of uh, raking the strings. I don't, I'm not exactly sure where I stole it from through the years, but it's it's a traditional bluesy thing to do. Um, also on the record, sometimes I, which is kind of uh, that's almost emulating this organ lick, you know, the dirty kind of organ. Should I demonstrate that again? It, it's kind of like I'm playing all three strings, but uh, this is a pretty clean sound that I have at the moment. I can get it a little dirtier. But I like the sound sometimes that you get when you have a lot of gain on the amp, but you turn the guitar down a little bit, you know, so you get that. And even more, so you can, you can, you can play hard, you can play soft, and the, the amp responds to it. When you hit it hard, you hear that distortion. When you hit it soft, you don't hear it, and you have all that dynamic range in between, you know. You know, I play mostly in, in standard tuning, but I, I like the open tunings also. But if I'm improvising, uh, you know, it's just fun to not think about what tuning you're in, you know. Um, so. That's like minor key slide playing, which is really harder to do in an, in an open tuning. But then if you're going to emulate open tunings a little bit and play more major key, That's more pentatonic major kind of just playing whatever feels good in the key of D major, you know, more melodic kind of slide playing, a little bit less bluesy. To me, the most important thing to take your slide playing to the next level is to try and get rid of some of the the noise and the 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 overtones, you know. So if you're only playing with a pick, you're kind of limiting yourself because to me, the, the best slide players are all playing with their fingers and using this uh, muting technique. So if you see, I always have my pick here, even when I'm playing with my fingers. I'm using my thumb to mute the bottom strings. And whichever fingers I'm using to pick the, the strings, I'm using the other fingers to mute the strings that I don't want it to, to hear. And I'm also muting behind the slide with these fingers. Now, sometimes if you want a little raspier sound, you can lift that up. And the, so the, the difference being, that you get a little brighter, raspier sound without the muting, you know. Um, but I think the most important thing is the muting on the right hand. It's kind of like a banjo technique, but always getting rid of the unwanted string noise, you know, because, a lot of people give up playing slide because you hear all these strings ringing and overtones that are really annoying. 
but the, I really recommend the, the right-hand muting technique, and I'll, I'll show you a few examples of that. see when I'm playing the G string I'm using my first finger when I'm playing the B string I'm using uh, my second finger but I'm always muting with the thumb and in uh, in whichever fingers I'm not using and whichever strings I'm not wanting to hit muting with the other fingers so you cancel out all that unwanted uh, string garbage you know um, and it takes some time to work on but you, if you practice it, you can really get, get the hang of it, you know. from the song Man in Motion, which is the title track, the opening number. That's kind of the pattern that I'm playing in the choruses and that I that I wrote the song around. It's like a... kind of the way Hendrix took a lot of Curtis Mayfield influence with his right hand and or his left hand but my right hand uh, that kind of soul uh, rhythm stuff that I, I really love and there's a lot of that kind of stuff on, on the new record as well okay. the rhythm's more it's more like a like a C sharp minor That's kind of the groove, and the stuff we're playing, it gets a little uh, more rhythmic and jazzy, so it's like two, three, four. players that play on the downbeat all the time. As an example, I'll show you. One, two, three, four. That's just playing straight downbeats, you know. But if you play one, two, three, four. So I'm tapping my foot to show you where the downbeat is. Um, that's much more interesting to me, you know. Also, when you're listening to the people that are, you're playing with, somebody's going to play something in that space that inspires you to play something different. So it's a jazzy approach, but I think it's very important to open your mind that way. <laughs> 